Alexander, what, what interested you in this? Um, well, I didn't get the script in the, uh, the conventional way through my agents. I got it. We have a mutual friend, Maury and I. And, um, he basically said, my, my friend is making a movie. Do you want to read the script? There's, there might be a part for you in it. And I said, of course. I read it. And I thought, kind of what Maury just said, I thought it was such a unique story and, and, uh, and really brave. And a coming-of-age story about a young girl, and, but it's not sentimental or not judgmental. It's, it felt really real. And, um, and something I hadn't seen before. Um, I think you see, I mean, there are so many coming of age stories about young boys and, you know, you know, dealing with their sexuality and, and you know, growing from a young boy to a man on um, in, in, also addressing the f addressing the fact that you just like you might be horny, you know, and then when it comes to girls, it's always about ma waiting on Mr. Right, you know, Mr. Charming and the, you know, the knight in shining armor is going to come save you. And um, I, I just I just love the script. And, and the character, uh, Minnie, the you know the way she talks about like I'm horny, I, you know I think about sex, what's wrong with me? And I thought it was really brave and and uh, um, and, and a in a really weird, interesting relationship between the three of them. Um, uh, Kristen Wiig who plays the mother, my girlfriend, and and the two of us, and um, and also the challenge of of making this relationship real and not. What he's doing is clearly wrong, but it was important that he wasn't just a predator, you know, because it's you got to follow this relationship for an hour and a half, so you need to make it interesting and layered, and um, it, it it just wouldn't if if it's just that him preying on it, it's just not interesting uh, to me. Mm -hmm. So we uh, talked a lot about that. Yeah. Well, Mari, I mean, obviously, you know, you said you there aren't a lot of films about this from the female perspective, you know. This is a very delicate subject to deal with on screen. I mean, it must have been tricky to figure out, you know, how to handle it um, without being exploitative or, or... Yeah, I think at every moment of the writing of the script and the shooting of the movie and editing of the movie, it was kind of, kind of checking in with my gut about what had originally drawn me to the material, the authenticity, this character who I was in love with, who I felt like I owed it to, to tell this story in the right way, and just continually checking in and saying, am I doing this justice? Am I doing this girl's story justice? Am I doing justice to girls with the way this looks, with the way this feels, um, with what we take away from it? And it, it does require kind of being really conscious of that at every step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Belle, were you conscious of, of that kind of thing in, when you were, you know, in your performance? Yeah, like for sure the relationship between Alex's character and Minnie is a delicate subject because it's a 35-year-old man having sex with a 15-year-old girl. But I think the amazing thing about the film is that it makes female sexuality not a delicate subject. You know, it opens it up. You know, people are tiptoe around it so much and we don't do that with male sexuality in films. There are so many movies about boys wanting to get laid and boys losing their virginity and I think the good thing about the film is that yeah it makes it not so precious and hopefully people will take that away from it they'll be like oh I can talk about this now it's not such a taboo subject mm -hmm. yeah. it's honest right. I mean it, it does seem like we're here in Sundance and there are so many films by female directors there are so many female voices on display right now I mean does Hollywood need to learn some lessons here Definitely, I think it's the time for female stories. I think everybody's kind of waking up to that a little bit right now. It's an exciting time to be making a movie like this because I think people get it, it that it's time for women to have their stories told, it's time for women to have their, their due in this way, and um, I think in that way it's just, it's, it's thrilling time. It feels like everybody's getting on board <laughs> in a good way, finally. Well, so how hard was it to actually get it made? I mean, you said it was a, a four-year process for you. I assume you heard no a lot of times from various people along the way? Oh yeah, I mean I think everybody who makes a movie hears no along the way. I think it's really difficult to get a movie made. Um, I had a kind of blind passion where I wasn't gonna take no for an answer no matter what happened. A slight obsession, people have called it. Um, so it was difficult to get the movie made but the support of Sundance meant a huge amount along throughout the process. It kind of, um, it gave me the confidence to stick with the story and to not try to alter it in any way. And it, um, 
and just the, the creative support. And it kind of gave you that little stamp of approval where people took me a little bit more seriously because, oh, Sundance says this is good, so that helps. 